What's up? Zombie Heads here, and I'm going to show you how to stream to YouTube Gaming directly from your PlayStation 4. So the update just happened this morning. I'm real excited about it. So there's two ways, the camera and messages on the left or camera only on the right. I prefer camera only and I use a laptop to view my chat room so I can interact with everybody while I game. So on your controller, you're going to hit share and broadcast gameplay, and you're going to pick YouTube in the middle. I'm assuming you already have a YouTube channel to stream to. If you don't, you want to set that up and connect it to your PlayStation account. And right away, we're going to go to hit the options button on the controller and advanced settings. And let's set up the camera. Now right here, we have all the options to set up our camera for our broadcast. Um, the position, really, I'd probably go with the game you're playing. Put it where it's not going to interfere with anything you need to see on the screen. So I'm going to play Warframe uh, this time, and I'm going to go with lower left. And let me set it back here to do not change the background. So this is how it looks if you just had the camera on you. Uh, like there's upper right. Uh, lower left, you can also change the size here. I go with medium, but that's small. As you see in the bottom left hand corner, it changes shape, but I leave it at medium. Flip the camera horizontally. If it looks like your shirt's reading backwards, you can always correct that there. So the background I have set right now to do not change. And as you can see, um, it's just me and I have this blue background behind me. You can always hit the square button for a full screen to show you what it's going to look like. But there's my little preview. Um, anything behind you, you know, you'd see on camera when it is set to do not change. So, all right, now let's go to set up the chroma key. Now, to do chroma key, you're obviously going to need a background. So, um, look it up online. I suggest to get a, a pretty close color to what you're going to need. But I use a blue screen. And as you can see here, I just hang it behind me. I actually hang it from this large picture frame on the wall. And uh, it looks, this is my basic setup. I have my, my mic and my camera right there. There's a PS4 on the ground. And I, you know, I can watch my broadcast if I'm going to use my capture card to record things on the computer right there. So um, it looks like a real professional studio, doesn't it? From uh, behind the scenes, though, you see it's just your normal average Joe setup that anybody can do. And it costs about $9.99 for a sheet of fabric that big. So now if I do set it to chroma key, you can see as uh, the full screen preview, you are not seeing anything behind me. It's just me right here. And another interesting fact is see how my daughter's shirt it had blue on it. It's the same color blue as my uh, background, so it, it actually just blended all out. So keep that in mind. You can't wear blue or possibly green shirts while you stream using chroma key. Now down here, down here we have the level. That's basically to um, knock out the background or adjust it if it seems like it's uh, not working for you. Toy camera, things like that, some options if you want to uh, change your appearance in the camera a little bit. Now, uh, I really don't use anything though other than, I, I, use, I have it set to none. Brightness is going to change um, the camera. Same with contrast, how you look on there. Transparency, you can set, uh, bump it up if you need to see things behind you while you play. As you can see here, I can see what's going on in the game behind me. I'm somewhat invisible there. Uh, good feature, I actually use that sometimes. So now on the right we have Find Face. Um, I, I, I really never needed to use it, the camera always just sort of picks me up, but there is that option here. If for some reason your camera can't find you maybe, uh, maybe hit Find Face and as you see it can't find my face, but uh, just so you know that feature is there in case you would need to know that. And if you were to press the reset button here, it will just set everything back to how it was before you started messing with anything. Alright, so include microphone and audio broadcast, um, which I'm sure most, most people want to do if you want to inter interact with everybody and commentate as you play. You can include your party audio in the broadcast, but of course everybody's got to allow their voice to be shared with you to be able to hear everybody while you play. So, Another cool thing here is um, display message to sp uh, spectators and spectators comments. If you do like this, it's, it's pretty neat. It plays the game right here in the middle, nothing in your way, your camera isn't in the way, it actually be up in the top there above your chat. And I'm going to erase my message here as you can see in the, the box, and I'm going to type, uh, I'll type Warframe New Missions, and in the bottom it'll display it where that little green bar is, and let's just say you don't like the green bar, of course you can always change it, maybe uh, black or something might look better, but it's a nice setup, and as you play and people post comments um, while you're playing, they will display underneath your your picture there on the right hand side. So I don't use it, so I'm just turning it off. Another thing, they have comments of speech, which I have not messed around with. Um, maybe I will if I do, and it seems like something cool, I'll make another video on it, and I'll just put a little annotation here so you can click on the link and understand what it is, how it works. But at the moment, it didn't really grab my attention as something that I really wanted to show you today. 
Okay, so now that we're done with the options here in the camera, we're going to go back and we're going to set up the rest of our stream. So make sure these are checked off if you're using your camera and your microphone. And let's come down here to where it says title. So, and you want to display messages right here. You want to make sure it's checked off if you are using the setup where you can see them on the screen as you play. Now, we're going to change the title here. One thing to keep in mind is it's much easier to um, make sure you log into your YouTube Live account while you're streaming the games and update the stuff. Um, PlayStation 4 also likes to overwrite things. So, as you can see here, the description that is showing is actually the description of my channel. You can backspace over it and type something else new in here. It will not save over the um, description for your channel that you have saved there on your channel, but it will actually say uh, subscribe for more live gaming like I'm typing right here. It will say that underneath the, um, the video that people are watching in your stream. Um, right here, uh, pick your quality. Uh, my internet seems to be best on high, at least from the feedback I got from streaming today, so I'm leaving mine set to high. But it is HD. Uh, of course, here are tags if you want to enter tags because PlayStation 4, when you're done streaming, uh, it will save this as a YouTube video and it will save it as public. Unless, so you'll have to manually go back and set it to private or unlisted if you if you don't want it to be public. But um, you can add tags there. Another cool thing, another another cool thing they have is select players. So if I were to select that, you can go to your friends list. It's showing everybody else who I'm friends with who has Warframe. And let's say I want everybody to come along, right? Down below, it'll list the rest of your friends. You'll see a little red X beside them. But that just means they don't have the, uh, the game you're playing. So as you see, it says um, the invitation, send invitation to, and all their avatars. Uh, as you can see here, whenever, this is from my broadcast earlier. Um, Sarge here, he had, uh, I sent him a message, like an invite. Whenever I went live and he came by and and um, we started playing Warframe together, so that's that's a pretty cool feature that they have now. And as you can see here, he is, and we're playing, and off we go. And he's gonna wreck stuff and kill everything in Warframe. So yeah, that's an awesome feature they have here. So as soon as you hit the start broadcasting, it sends them the notification. And as you can see, this is me right in the beginning of the stream. I got my chroma key gun. I'm all set. I'm ready to go play games and. Hopefully have other people come along and watch too. Now, I hope I taught you a lot. Uh, one other thing I thought I'd point out is on YouTube itself, whenever you end, as you can see, I have like four streams here. It'll keep your likes and views and everything separate. It will save your broadcast as its own video. So that's also a cool feature. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Zombie Heads, and I'll catch you in another video.